Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie, and today I have a slightly different video for you. I tend to stick to dressmaking videos, but today I've got a bit of a homeware DIY. Um, my husband and I have a little bit of a gallery wall above our um, sofa that we're slowly growing, and it's got pictures in it of places we've been on holiday together. Some of them are photos we've taken, some of them are sort of vintage, uh, like, vintage travel poster type style. I'll put some photos in so you can see what it looks like. But basically, I want to show you today how I make my own mounts. Um, because basically, we often will buy prints. So for example, today I've just got some small prints that we, these are just literally postcards that we bought when we were in um, California recently. So, well, actually, technically one is Nevada because we've got Grand Canyon National Park and one from Joshua Tree National Park. And I've got these little frames from Decenio. Um, but these frames do not like, come with a mount. And actually sometimes you'll end up buying a frame that's not quite the same proportions as your like picture and maybe it doesn't come with a mount. And getting custom mounts made is possible. There are websites where you can just put the dimensions in and order them, but they're really expensive. And actually making your own mounts is really easy to do, really inexpensive. So I thought I'd show you how I do it. And I just love the look of having pictures with a mount around them. I think it makes even just a postcard that we bought for like 50 cents or one dollar or something, it just makes them look much more... I just think it makes them look really nice. This is our gallery wall so far and we're in... this is our sofa here and we're tending for it to grow across this way towards our Swiss cheese plant over there. And you can see that, for example, this one is a really good example of where I've made my own mount so that this frame, which is a different proportion from this picture, still works. You can see that it's thicker on the top and the bottom than it is on the sides. So that allowed me to use like a frame that otherwise wouldn't have worked. Like I couldn't use the mount that came with this frame because it was the wrong proportions. You'll also see they actually made two mounts for this one because I wanted to, I wanted it to have a black outline. So what I actually did is I made a white mount that was slightly didn't come in as much as I need it to, needed it to. And then I made another black mount to sit behind it that came in a little bit further so that I could create this like gold frame, white mount with a black edging in the mount as well. And that just shows how you can be a little bit more creative when you're making your mount yourself and just save a bomb of money than getting a framer place to do it for you. So the things you will need are of course your prints. You'll need some frames to put your prints in. You'll need some sort of white or cream, like off-white. I think I prefer off-white, but some card to make your mounts out of. I got this just from a local craft shop. I've also ordered it online before as well though, so if I've got an Amazon link, I think I've got a link to some I ordered from Amazon before, I'll put it in the description below. This is actually my dressmaking um, pattern master thingy, but it's just a nice long ruler, so you need a ruler. I've also got a small ruler too, just in case. You'll need a pencil. Um, a pair of scissors, or I've actually also got a guillotine that I like to use to trim smaller pieces of fabric, but scissors is totally fine. And if possible, it will really help you if you have a craft knife. I would highly recommend getting a craft knife. This one I bought from Ryman's for like, I don't know, $8.99 or something. Um, but that will be so much easier than using scissors to cut out the middle of your mount. The first thing that I'm going to do is going to be to take my frames apart and to take out this sort of backing piece to use as a template. So this is what I'm going to use as a template to create the outside edge of the mount. I've rolled out my piece of card and I'm going to put my template piece right in the corner. This is a piece of card that hasn't been cut on this side so I know that this is a right angle. And I'm basically going to take my ruler and draw an outline around it so that I can cut it out. Because I'm making two, I'm going to repeat that step and do another one the exact same size. Now I can cut these out. So we've now got our two pieces of mount and our two prints. And if we were going to do the really lazy way of making a mount, we could literally just stick the print onto the mount and put it in the frame just like that. So that would look something a little bit like this. 
I would obviously make it straighter and much nicer, but you could literally have the mount, the backing card, sort of sit behind your print and put your print on top. However, I want to show you the sort of slightly more professional way of doing it today, where you actually have your print sitting behind your mount and you cut out a window for your print to sort of peep through and then your mount would overlap the edge of the print a little bit. So that's sort of the slightly more professional way to do it. So easy way, literally stick it on in the middle, Bob's your uncle. So to do it sort of the more professional way, what we need to do is work out how much we would like our mount to overlap with our picture. So I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring. Okay, so I've worked out that if I get this nicely in the middle of this piece of card, I want it at the edge to overlap, or I want the width of my mount here to be 1.8 centimetres. So I'm going to measure in 1.8 all the way along this edge and all the way along this edge and draw a line. Make sure that you do all your pencil marks on the same side because then you don't have to worry about your pencil marks and when you're finished you can just flip it over and use the other side to be the front. So there you can see that I've measured in my 1.8 centimetres and drawn lines across both edges. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the top and the bottom to work out how much I want it to overlap at the top and bottom. So it also works out as needing to be about 1.8 centimetres from the top and bottom. And how I work that out is I basically play around with moving this until I end up with an equal amount of spare space at the top and the bottom. There we go, that is now the piece that I need to cut out of the middle of my card. So I'm gonna get my craft knife, I'm doing this on a cutting mat, and that's really important if you're using a craft knife, because if you use a craft knife on an ordinary table, you're gonna scratch it. So if you are using a craft knife, make sure you've got some kind of protective cutting mat underneath. So I'm gonna get my ruler, and I'm gonna line it up on the lines that I want to cut. Now, the really easy mistake that I often make with this is that I get a bit carried away and just sort of cut and cut all the way down and end up cutting these pieces apart. But you need to remember that we're only cutting out the middle, so it literally needs to be from the cross here to the cross there. Don't go all the way to the edge or you'll be a bit sad because you've just cut your, mount, <laughs> cut your mount in half. So I'm gonna line up my ruler, I'm gonna press the corner of my craft knife. If you are, you know, a child, please don't do this on your own. Please get an adult to help you. Um, but yeah, press the corner of your craft knife into the corner and you need to really carefully and gently drag your craft knife down and stop when you get to the next corner. Now I'm going to do the next edges. You can see here look, that I've created a nice little slit. And then my centre just popped right out, and then I have my mount. So then you can take your, your picture and you can lay your mount over. Remember, I've got all my horrible, ugly pencil marks on this side, if you can see. So what I'm going to do is literally flip it over and use this side as the nice, clean, white side. Yay, it fits! What I like to do is use a bit of masking tape to stick on the back to hold my mount and my print sort of in line with where I want them. This is a bit fiddly because this is quite a small mount and this card is a little bit flimsy. So what I've done is I've actually stuck a couple of small pieces of masking tape to the back of my print. And I'm going to hold that in one hand, hold my mount over it with the other hand, and I'm going to... Once I've got it in the right place, I'm going to use my fingers behind to press the masking tape onto the mount to try and keep it all where I want it. Yeah, like that. And then I can flip it over and just stick another bit at the bottom just for good measure, just to make sure that it's going to stay. There we go. And now I can get my frame. Et voilà! 
Look, doesn't that look so smart and professional? I mean, if you look too closely, you know, you might see slight wobble in my lines once in a while, but I really don't think it's noticeable at all. And yeah, I just think it's such a quick and easy way to make a mount. I love making my own mounts because although in this case, this print is very well proportioned to this frame, I think they are actually the same proportions, I could actually put a totally different, like, a different proportioned print in this frame and it would still work so I can make a mount to fit. So for example, if this print was actually more like this shape and it was like a shorter, stubbier rectangle, I could still make a mount for it. I would just need the mount to be a bit thicker on the top than it is on the sides. It's just such a good way to being, for being able to be much more flexible about the different prints that you put in different frames. I could also have chosen to put this print in a bigger frame and again just have a wider mount around it. Now I just need to do the other one. There we go, two beautifully mounted pictures to go up on my wall. So there you have it, that is how you make your own mounts. I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Um, I just think it's such a good skill to know that you can make your own mounts and you don't have to worry about having the exact correct proportion frame for the print that you've got. You can kind of pretty much put any size or shape of print, not size, you can put any shape of print in any frame really, if you make a mount and you can make it work. Um, so yeah, now all I have to do is add these to my gallery wall and get my good old command strips out so I can hang them up. We do actually own our flat, but we still are a bit scared to put too many holes in the walls. So yeah, command strips for the win. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, let me know if you give this a try and I'll see you next time.